Hello. Welcome to How Do You Like Your Coffee? I'm your host, Chris. I just want to take a, a little bit of a moment to talk about something that's been bugging me a little bit here and there. Um, and it is videos um, that are trying to give people some tips, hints, uh, tricks, tips, hints, things like that to get good content to make good YouTube videos. And what bugs me about it is a lot of these videos can be very discouraging to the newcomer, to the noob, to the newbie, to the uh, new content creators out there. And the reason for that is um, when they tell you, uh, talk about quality of video, quality of sound, um, they're suggesting some quite expensive equipment and there's where the discouragement comes in and I just want to mention that I don't think it's necessary and I think you can do very well with a smartphone um, natural lighting in your home and if your smartphone is pretty good with speaker I think you can do well with that as well but you can also get some really good uh, quality mics on Amazon, maybe in other places like eBay and stuff for less than 20 bucks. I know that I have a lavalier mic. I'm going to get into that as soon as I talk a little bit about, um, a little bit further into what's bugging me about this. Uh, first of all, um, I saw a few videos and they said, well, if you want good quality video, um, this budget camera, they're calling it $800 $1,000 camera budget cameras um, not in everybody's budget is eight hundred and a thousand dollars that's not very budget as far as I'm concerned you might as well go out and get yourself a good cell phone and um, at least let that be your beginning let that be something you're starting out on um, that's what I'm using right now I'm using a it's not even a high-end smartphone. This is a uh, Samsung J7 Crown. It's got a 13 megapixel. I'm using the front-facing camera, 13 megapixel camera. Um, as far as lighting goes, okay, that's another thing. Oh, you need this lighting, that lighting. They're showing these high-end studio lights with the big um, uh, panels on them. And they're costing 200 300 400 500 dollars I mean I saw one setup that was eight hundred dollars and like I said not everybody has that type of budget is it good enough that we maybe if you're outside you're using the natural sunlight or maybe if you're indoors you're using a natural um, good quality light bulb just raise the wattage in your light bulb brighten it up a little bit in your home in your room or wherever you're doing your lighting at and that that works for me anyways I mean you can comment down below if, if you know if you believe that this quality <laughs> that the video is quality you can tell them on YouTube too um, as far as sound goes um, I bought a lavalier on actually I got two lavalier mics with the set it cost me about seven dollars and I bought a handheld mic which cost me sixteen dollars right now I'm using the cell phones microphone and I don't think the sounds too bad right now on this phone um there are certain phones out there that do not have good quality sound at all um, their mics are pretty much uh, pretty bad so um, test out everything test your sound and stuff like that don't get discouraged because you hear somebody say that you have to have expensive equipment to begin a YouTube channel this is what's holding a lot of people up and I don't think you should let it hold you up I mean this kind of thing has almost discouraged me from beginning I've seen a lot of um, youtubers that I watch now and I seen the equipment that they use oh, I'll never make it I'll never be able to really get a good quality video out there I think my problem right now is my content and um, that's why I've been asking everybody to leave comments down below tell me what I can do give me some tips and um, and we can share tips with each other uh, and share 
ideas and things like that that will help us get our content in better. Um, but like I said, don't get discouraged. Start your videos right now. If you feel that the maybe some of you might already be streaming live on like Facebook or maybe you're putting videos out there on Instagram. What do you feel about those videos that you're putting out there now? What makes it um, that uh, the quality that you're putting out there already in your Instagram or already in your Facebook videos? Why wouldn't those same videos be okay for YouTube? Why is it that you think that YouTube videos would have to be better quality than what you're already putting out there if you are already putting it out there? My advice is take a good look at what you film. Take a take a sample film and um, not only view it on your smartphone, not only view it on the phone that you record it on, but also plug it into your computer. Get yourself a bigger picture of it um, on the bigger screen and say to yourself, okay, is this quality that I would watch on somebody else's video and would I be comfortable in watching it? If it is, if it matches your specifications, if it's up to your specifications, then why not begin posting videos right now instead of waiting for you to be able to afford that expensive equipment that you so badly want. Like I said, don't get discouraged and I'll see you next time. Um, check out my review videos that I'm beginning. Um, they will be posting very soon. Um, and until next time, keep that coffee hot and those pinkies up. I wish you the best of luck.